Uh, Ryan, uh, how would you kind of categorize and summarize your weekend here in Penticton? Uh, really, really good learning experience, I'd say. Um, it's good to kind of, you know, finally get to play a game with all these young guys. I've been in uh, Edmonton for a few weeks now, so um, it's good to be able to practice with them the last few weeks and get to know them. But um, I think everyone was just eager to get here and start play a few games, and it was cool to, to kind of see some work over the summer gel together and put together a couple wins here before we uh, head into main camp. Tonight specifically, I uh, turned aside all 16 shots. Uh, some of the quality variety, how do you feel like uh, your game is trending heading into main camp on Wednesday? Yeah, I'm excited for it. I mean, uh, first game, first couple games of the year, you know, you never really know what to expect. And especially at a tournament like this where you kind of get some guys and throw them together and, um, you know, you don't really have any system set up or anything along those lines. So, um, you know, I was happy with the way it, turn it turned out tonight. I was able to get my uh, get my eyes on a little bit early. And, you know, they had a few chances, which kind of gets you dialed in when you make a few big saves early on. So um, I like how it progressed throughout the weekend. And like I said, I'm just excited to, to kind of keep it going here in main camp. Uh, take us back to yourself in the moment in March when you signed that entry level contract and what the feeling was like with you and your family. Oh, it was, uh, yeah, I mean, something that you you know you dream of as a little kid, like every kid growing up and playing hockey. So it was a little bit surreal in that sense. I was able to have some some family there with me when when you know we made the decision and we actually you know put some ink on the paper. So um, definitely such a such a cool moment, and you know to be able to head down to Bakersfield and play a game there right after that following week was special as well to meet the staff and the guys down there, and then uh, just to head to Edmonton in in in, uh, in the summer during development camp, and now here. So it's kind of you know all piecing together at once, um, or throughout the summer, sorry, um, instead of at once. So it's been cool to see how it's kind of progressed and I'm really excited to how, how it's going to keep going. Saw, saw some orange t-shirts out there with Fanti on the back. Yeah. Was your media family here taken in the tournament as well? Uh, no, I had some extended family here, um, which was really, really nice. So uh, they're kind of through my mom's side. So I was able to, we had some time off yesterday. So I was able to go for dinner with them and, um, you know, hang out with the kids and stuff like that. So always good to have some uh, support, especially so far from home. Um, definitely very, very lucky for that. Sorry to put you on the spot right after a game, but when you personally reflect at your time at Minnesota Duluth, what's the biggest thing that you learned about yourself? Ooh, that's a great question. Uh, I learned about myself. Um, I apologize. No, no, that's good. <laughs> uh, I feel like you learned, learned about myself is how much I needed to grow, I think. Um, as, you know, I don't think after junior, um, I'm pretty lucky to be in the presence of some pretty some pretty uh, good players here early on at, you know, 19 and 20 years old that some of my teammates here. But I think personally at 19, 20 years old, I don't think I was ready to make this step. So I think that really um, kind of opened up my eyes to it. I think college hockey really helped in that sense. Helped me get, you know, three years older, um, a little bit more mature between the years, um, some things on and off the ice. So. So um, that's probably something I really learned about myself and you know I was really happy I took that step and I think it um, kind of progressed me to be able to take that step like you said in March and and finally you know um, put put pen to paper and make that happen um, so I think that's something I definitely learned about myself but learn how much I value the friendships too I met so many you know good good friends along the way that I still keep in touch and I miss it a little bit you know I'd be, I'd be lying if I said I didn't you know you get those camaraderies and things like that so um, definitely probably those two things what was it like getting in that one game in Bakersfield for you it was eye-opening for sure. I wasn't able to, they took the ice out of out of Duluth as soon as we lost. So um, I didn't head down there for a week. So I didn't really get to skate that that much. And then uh, we were kind of, we had a morning game um, that I didn't play. So we didn't get to skate. And then we traveled the day. Um, and then I just had morning skate. And then they asked if I wanted to play. So a little bit rusty to start, but uh, I let in my first pro shot. So that's pretty funny. But uh, I was happy with the guys to be able to bounce back and give me a few goals. And it was just nice to get the win in my first pro game. So definitely eye-opening. And it was uh, good for those guys to, you know, kind of put me under their arm and, you know, kind of take the reins and, and get a win for me. Well, you let in no shots tonight, so congratulations on the win. Thank you very much.